on 23rd Avenue and Morris Avenue. So and where are we headed to? What is this? Legendary we're block. 315 with that mailbox facing this, facing this way. This is 315 legendary location where I battled Law Finesse. Battle Law Finesse in 1989, the Funky yes. Man. July 13, 1989. LeBron respected Percy Key and the funky technician off Just walk down the block, check, yes. talk about it. So so how did the whole thing really go down, man? Like, so how did the whole thing transpire, man? Um, Shout out to my man, Tony Webb. Indeed. You know, Tony Webb, Anthony Webb. But um, I guess he knew Law Finesse from back in the day, like in, in high school and all right. that. He's just and cutting up, cast and snapping and all the stuff. But, uh, you know, he still was hip hop fans. and. Um, I guess Tone instigated the battle, told him, yo, my man Percy P said he eat everybody in Forest Project. <laughs> Lord Finesse from Forest and Indeed. Diamond and Fat Joe and all of them. Yep. Then he would come back to Patterson and say, yo, P, man, this cat named Rob Finesse, I know. He talking about he eat everybody in Patterson. I was like, you can't mess with my man Percy P. I eat him too. So he was instigating. Finesse, he never really said none of the stuff, right. but I guess the curiosity was there because both of us like, who's this cat? People coming outside saying the dude want to battle me. And I, I, I just thought like there was bullshit at first, and then every time I come out, yo, this cat want to battle you, people. What's up? So me and my man Danique went up around his way looking for him, and told Cat yo, Percy P, let him know Percy P was around here looking for him. And he came around here with AG, cause AG knew where I would be. He knew all the people, and I was this just is hanging pre, with my man. Uh, this is pre, this is pre Funky Technician album, right? Yes, okay. yeah, before, he, before, his, before his first single anything. So I was Crazy. hanging with my man Wu House. Over here, across the street, not this building, but around there, sort of building. Right. And um, I was up there, and H.E. kind of knew all the people that I would be around. So right. He came and called me up and said, what's up, what's up? Yo, Perth up there? He said, yeah. I looked out the window, yo, tell him Vanessa. I looked outside, mad people. Oh, it was like a, a 3 o'clock flight at high school. People were like, no, about we're, to go we're down about down. to get him go down. So we was on that side of the project. My man Dave Devon Gonzalez was like, yo, hold on. Let me go get my camcorder. Came, we followed him right here, and he ran up in the building, got the camcorder, came out, and that that's what it was on. This so, building right here? Yeah, it was called us. All right, let's go take a walk over there. So, um, so legendary, dog. Yeah, man. So that's how I went down. And um, my man came through with the camcorder, and it was on. Could just move it up a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Kind of pan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, it, it was crazy, man. And nobody knew at the time that we was going to be making history. We just, the smartest thing we did was wait for my man to get that camcorder. Indeed. So, so, so due to all you MCs, never undermine rhyming in a cypher. Yeah. If you were forecasting, sitting around, and somebody want to take bars, spit some bars, videotape that. Especially if it's cats that you don't even know that are open mic, because some of them cats two years later might be some artists popping. Indeed. But you got footage Indeed. spitting with these cats. And when it's on the internet, that might be like an early footage, like, like me and DMX. That stretch about Dino Rhyme in 91. You know, and I used to yeah. rock shows with him at the castle in the South Bronx, right here in the club. You know? And uh, it was always love with you and Finesse. It wasn't yeah, never no yeah, beef. It was just, no just strictly, was strictly, cool, strictly lyrics. He was a cool brother, man. He's still a cool brother. I respect him so Indeed. much. And I see where he went. Like, that's what he As a producer, DJ MC, yo, yeah, he's yeah. a legend, man. He, he put it down and he's still repping the Bronx worldwide. He's doing it. And um, DRTC. So this is the so, actual spot. Yep, this is the spot right here. So he pulled up on you right out here. Yep, we had to call And it was like, go get Percy P, go get P, right? Yep. Finesse one, get it came, in. Came from that building over there, my man Wu. Right, right. Came out, walked the old crowd, walked through. And came up, and he said, hold on, I'm gonna go get the camcorder. We're gonna wait for him, and boom. And I had to take to my pocket. Funky drummer, you know what I'm saying? Kick one in the back. The Nick had, had the radio, had the big rope on. So no doubt. And he was, just kept one in the back, and then we start the next round. And every time we dropped our ball, we wanted to take back round two. And you know, tone, tone, and, you know, he was referee in the battle, and we just going in, fam. Legendary. We, we made history. July 13th, 1989. What did he say to you after the battle? Did he say anything? To you? Oh man, he gave me props. He was like, "Yo, son, yo, you, you nice." And and, and 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 on top of that, to show him food. There was no animosity when he did. I didn't even know that he was coming out with an album. When I battled him, the next day, and you could hear him say this in his words, the next day after that rap battle, he was in a new music seminar, which I never knew that he yeah. was being Law Finesse. Yep. And he said it, it his word. He was like, that was the hardest battle he had. Said it on our show, yep. He said that. I, yep. Come on, I, no disrespect to no MCs, but that's what he said. And I'm like, wow. Fresh going, Miz was dead. I was, I was a legendary, uh, 
Yeah, new music seminar. Yeah. In 1990, new music seminar. Yeah. For those who don't know, I was in the new music seminar for 1990. And, and it had me, Tretch was in that battle. Um, LA Star, Red Alert was the host. There's a lot of mm. cats, man. Much respect. I don't even know. I lost first the first the, the time because I went out acapella and shit. Right, so right. I, you know, I, y'all know what I can do with the mics, but I lost. You know what I'm saying? So, but I don't know who beat me. But, but all I know is I was in the new music seminar. And people check that. It's, it's facts and you know the seats out there. For the those for those who don't know, these young boys, what, what was in the new music seminar? The new music seminar. Uh, what was that all like about? An in, industry thing, like you know, yeah. something that industry thing going on and basically like artists had to submit MCs had to submit tapes maybe like with like four verses and work national just imagine work nationwide people submitting four verses on a tape to be handpicked for like maybe 20 MCs for a rap rap and I was one of them so that automatically says a lot just for you to be in that they had to listen to so many people and you were one of the MCs that was big for that Indeed. Red Alert was hosting that so that was like a big deal the whole Alert. industry was big Everybody was there, you know what I'm saying? It's like going to Vegas, a, a, a fight. Everybody come, oh, let's go to that. We got to see the fight. Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. But New Music Seminar was like somewhere for you to see like dope MCs and DJs. The DJs had battles too. Matter of fact, man, he Kim was in the New Music Seminar for 1990. He was in the DJ battle and we was with, we came there with DJ Steve D, who won. Mm. He won it. So nice. shout out to DJ Steve D. Shout out to him. Yeah. What? Since we in the Bronx, South Bronx, Patterson Projects, like I said, home of hip hop, mecca of hip hop, don't y'all ever forget it. We love everywhere else, but we gotta pay homage where homage is due. Yes, sir. I gotta put you on the spot. Who's yeah. your top five? I'll give you top five Bronx MCs of all time, man. Without yourself being included. There's too many. You got the treacherous, you got what, I mean, Cold Crush. You got Fierce, Fierce Five in there. Um, Blastmaster? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Karis one, yeah, you gotta have a, but I'm just saying, when I, a lot of times, when I, right. I always try to go back to the ones that inspired me. Indeed. I'm not saying Karis one, I got much respect for the brother. Indeed. I, you know, I have much respect. Indeed. But to put it down, but I always try to predate what, before I was really Absolutely. like, Absolutely. Yeah, so I always go back to like the Cold Press era, the Jackson 5, and shout out to them, Chuck Green, Indeed. Lee, man, you know, um, Soul Sonic Force, you know what I'm saying? Indeed. Zulu Nation, all the people that made it possible. I don't, you know, I don't care where you at, they made it possible. If you eating off this hip hop, traveling out the country, and let's give it up, because they made it possible for me and so many other cats. When I look at stuff that was done in these parts, and these dudes is inspired just like me, and we're taking trips out of the country to do what we saw in parts. Facts. So that's, I, I gotta give it up. And I will always want people to acknowledge these people, man. Absolutely. And they just wasn't fortunate enough like me to make a record so absolutely and travel and people paying to fly to other countries in Europe and Japan and Australia and UK and all the stuff man in Australia you know and you just come right back and it's just that you know I always feel sad sometimes when I think like damn man people need to know these people I see images online like I said Paul Park Henry Chapon people know who he is his style was and a lot of his images but who are the people in those images I've seen Absolutely. people now meet these hip hop museums and some of these same images are in those museums that people don't know the people that's in the photos. Absolutely. So that bothers me. That's like me after all the years. I've been rhyming since 79, I made songs since 1988. So for all that time, me putting it down, the people that actually knew me should never be forgot, to be forgot like I never existed. You know what I'm saying? That bothers me, man. So that's why, Facts. you know, artists got to control their narratives and start posting your stuff on YouTube. They can't erase us, brother. Online Fuck that. and tell the text. You got flyers, start posting it. You don't keep stuff to yourself. I used to have I used to have a lot of my tapes holding it. But Indeed. I said, you know what? I gave my tapes, my tape collection to Charlie Tuna for him. I let Egon copy all my tapes. Right, right. DJ um, Z-Trip. Z-Trip. Um, I let um, Z-Trip. I let, um, who else? He gone Z Trip, cut chemists, um, E Don. So I let select dudes that really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's like somebody holding my music, talking about, yo, you never heard of my man P. And you ask for a copy, let me hear that. And you like, nah, nah, nah. You got to share my share. Please share my, my link and put the pieces together, man. Listen to those songs, Google the images. Look at the people who I work with. Absolutely. Look at the producers, see who I work with. And then you, you have greater appreciation for who I came in contact with, who, who I worked with, who they sought me out. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? What inspires you? 
what inspires yeah. me is when I look at YouTube and I'm seeing dudes like myself, just it was around for a long time, mm -hmm. it's still here. And it, I'm happy when I see, oh, these dudes are still in it. Love for Ness is still here. DJ, mm -hmm. Travis, tell me I'm going to Russia. And yeah. I'm like, that's saying that was, like, y'all, y'all yeah, gonna still do my shit because people yes, were acknowledging. And I'm, I still have association with cats Indeed. like that. When you think of him, yo, he battled Percy P. So where's Percy P at? So I better still be on the field. Like, I don't want to be off the field. Exactly. When cats are looking for me, I still got bars, fam. And you just right. got to hear it. But please share that music. You know Indeed. what I'm saying? Please share that. Percy P songs and features on YouTube. Percy P songs and features. Yes, sir. That's a playlist. I got like two. We'll throw the link in this description too. And, yep. and, and, my, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Absolutely. Subscribe. Don't just listen, but yeah, subscribe, so man. Hit that like and share. That, Absolutely. Them, 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 them likes up. And, you know, just, you know, Indeed. Cause that's how people look at stuff like that. When promoters, oh, what he doing? Let me see what he's doing. They can see the footage, but where, where's the following? Absolutely. You, know, you can see people performing for thousands of people, but where, where they don't add up. The, the subscribers don't exactly. add up yeah. to, the, to the years of albums I've been on. Yeah. So all those years. Support. And video games. Come on, yeah. man. Seven games. Soundtracks of movies. Yeah. Some TV. Like the shy. First P, you know millions of people watch this stuff. So they're hearing me. But are you, are you know who I am. Exactly. You know what I'm so that's what I want. And for all artists. Not just for myself, man. So especially when dudes put their life down, man. Absolutely. I'm 50 years old right now. Be I'm telling you. I'm still, I still got an Emmy. Straight up, it's in me, man. You know, hip hop keep me young, keep going. How important it is? I was doing this since I was ten years old. Absolutely. You That's mentioned me in fifty, though. Not to cut you, but talk a little before we get out of here. Talk a little bit about eating right, exercising. Oh yeah, man. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to change up my little diet. I can yeah. See me pick up a little pound. It's all good. Yeah. I'm yeah. start lifting the weights. I'm gonna start doing some things so I could, you know, I, I look at brothers, you know, Melly Mel. You see how them brothers yeah. do. Melly Mel, doing swole. Doing things, swole. Yeah. I ain't gonna be swole, but yeah. see like Method Man. I see how he looks yeah. good. Brothers is, is a lot of cross on Pete yeah. Rock. Picking up yeah. little weights. CL, CL, and yeah. I see yeah. him on the gram. I see y'all. Yeah. Y'all, my CL. brothers doing it. I'm yeah. gonna be so Percy Pete, yo. Yes, sir. <laughs> The balls like y'all, I'm gonna be lifting more than lyrical balls. Indeed, indeed, indeed. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Percy, yeah. man. We love you, man. We appreciate you. you. Too, we respect you. you. It's an honor. One of the legends, one of the greatest. And you're not even, you're not a blast from the past. You still out here doing it. Yes, sir. And y'all need to pay homage, respect, and show love. You heard? Love. Drop the Gem TV. One and only legendary rhyme inspector. Percy P. 30th anniversary, the yep. legendary battle, him and Finesse. We actually are on the block. It happened. July 13th, 1989, y'all. Crazy, y'all. Let people know their history. Absolutely. One love.